Welcome to this slit lab examination video in which you see a patient having difficulty opening in his lid because of photophobia and we're trying to ask him to look into different positions and I would want to highlight this area on the limbus on the nasal side where you see this whitish dot at the limbus and along with that you see this diffuse congestion but it's different from a ciliary congestion. So these are Toronto's dot which you see in patients with uh, vernal character conjunctivitis and here you can see this whitish area on the limbus which looks like more like a arcus senalis but when you see in younger patients with vernal catar it is called a pseudo geron toxin geron toxin is basically that circular whitish uh, opacity which you see uh, in patients with arcus senalis so if you go forward in this the important part is after looking at this you ask the patient to look down is very important usually the areas of uh, Toronto's dart are present uh, in the superior limbus you can also get areas of limbitis as well nodules which form at the limbus the next is important thing is to evert the lid and look at it at a lower magnification and then at a higher magnification what I want to highlight over these is these are the areas of cobblestone appearance so obviously if we grade this disease this uh, these are cobblestones which are sort of mild to moderate in size but obviously when you get giant purpley formation it will be like big chunks over here the reason you get these focal areas of uh, elevation is because you've got this area which balloons up secondary to vascular leakage of uh, chronic allergy but it tends to be attached at the base because of septa which are present between the conjunctiva and the tarsal plate so this is an important area if I look at the conjunctiva over like this if the surface epithelium so it is attached with septa like this so it goes in like this so what is going to happen in these patients is normally it will balloon up and it form an area like this over here initially it starts up like this and then you come up with big giant papillae which might be bigger in size going like this and they are always attached at the septa so this will be a mild disease and this would end up being a severe disease in these patients so you need to look at one side and and the other side with time this disease tends to scar down and with aging you will see with as a patient gets in his teens it tend to for uh, gets less and less at that stage so you evert the lid and then help the patient uh, pull the lid back in position you can see this area of congestion and this area of limbal whitening which uh, I was mentioning as pseudo -geron toxin this is an area of vernal catar which you're seeing tarantas horn tarantas dots in these patients so go on to the other side and open the lid and try and look on that area and you can see the cornea is clear but sometimes if you have a chronic disease you can get a shield ulcer which is formed in this area of the cornea or it can be in involving the whole area in the center as well but that tends to happen more in a sort of advanced disease in which the papilla will be much more compared to what you see in this patient so this is limbitis slightly milder on this side compared to the other side so you evert the lid you can do it with one hand or you can do it with both hands here you can see the velvety appearance of the conjunctiva and these are the papillae formation and you can see the disease is slightly less in this patient but here you can see a clearly demarcated area of these elevation of the conjunctival epithelium because of uh, the fluid which is present in this area so it's very important to look at this and you need to see it with a diffuse elimination you need to sort of dim the light down slightly and then look at it with a, 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 a lower magnification and then higher magnification to see what you 